Thank you for watching this video. Today it's my pleasure to present a recent work on paper manipulation with a tactile reactive gripper. My name is Yu She. I'm a postdoc from MIT. This work is supported by Toyota, Amazon, and ONR. Tables are widely used in our daily life, healthcare system, and automobile industry. However, our ability for autonomous cable manipulation is very limited. Because cable manipulation is very challenging. Because cable is deformable and it has infinite degree of freedom, and the cable modeling and control are very difficult. Existing solutions for cable manipulation either require mechanical constraints or performs slowly with incremental motion. The goal of this project is to develop a robotic system that can perform cable manipulation in free space in real time. In this project, we consider the daily task of inserting an earbud cable into jack, which requires pick, follow, insert. To accomplish the task, the grasp strength must be just right. If too strong, the cable won't slip. If too weak, tactile perception is poor. Also, grasp pose needs to be adjusted to remain the cable in the hand. We build a novel parallel jaw gripper equipped with gel side fingertips. Tactile perception gives the cable pose and shear force in real time. One controller modulates grip strength, the other controller adjusts the grip pose to keep the cable within the gripper. The gripper is designed with pseudo rigid body model and manufactured with compliant joints, which allows simplified 3D printing. The gripper is equipped with gel side tactile sensors. From tactile inference, we can estimate the pose of the cable. The white ellipse shows the estimation of the contact region. The red and green lines show the first and second principal axes of the contact region. Also, we can get a force estimation from tactile inference. The marker displacements indicates the magnitude and the direction of the frictional force. Controlling grip force is essential because a small grasping force gives a poor pulse signal and a large grasping force results in too much friction. Here we use a PD controller to keep a constant friction force and a leaky integrate to ensure good signal quality. We model the cable grip dynamics as a plane pulling problem. We use a data-driven approach to build a linear model and the LQR controller to regulate the cable around the center of the gripper. This shows an example of the robot following a USB cable. The signals on the right are cable pose, robot trajectory, and the moving direction. The controller keeps adjusting the cable state in real time by changing different moving directions and pulling angles. When the cable is near to the boundary of the sensory area, a rig rasp will be triggered to adjust the cable's pose. Here we compare different controllers. With the open loop controller, the robot loses the cable easily. After we add the emergency rig rasp, the robot finishes the task but needs the main rig rasp. With the LQR controller, the robot can control the cable in hand for longer distance with fewer rig rasp. We collect data with a single velocity for training the model. The system performs well on different velocities. We collected the data with a single cable. Here, our system performs well on different cables with different properties. The controller can overcome external disturbance by adjusting poles to keep the cable centered. The tactile sensor can also estimate the pose of the plug to perform insertion. Given the socket's position, the robot can adjust based on plug's pose and successfully insert it. Here we combine the cable following with the insertion task. The robot follows the earbud cable to the end, localize the plug, adjust accordingly, and insert it into the cell phone. To summarize, in this project, we developed a system-level framework for cable manipulation which is based on the combination of a novel tactile gripper, a tactile perception algorithm, and the tactile control modulars. The proposed framework using purely tactile feedback demonstrates a complex task of cable peak, follow, insert. It can be generalized to different cables and different velocities, and it offers a solution for manipulating deformable linear objects. To our best understanding, this is the first implementation of cable manipulation in free space in real time.